Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. It's been a minute. I have probably tried to film like three or four times and just gotten like I'll get a little bit of footage and I'll forget what I have and I end up deleting it. So we're starting again. We're starting over. We get this hair done on Saturday. I can't wait. Although, why is it that you always get the most compliments on your hair or nails or whatever, like, as they need done? That's what's happening right now. So, today is literally just, like, leggings and a t-shirt, boots, kind of the usual uniform. Socks are too thick for my boots. Kettle's going. You can probably hear it. I brought different coffee today. I was on an instant coffee kick for the longest time. And then I kind of got out of it because I thought it was like upsetting my stomach. But we're back. We're back and we got, I think, better stuff. The one that upset my stomach was like, I had gotten it at Walmart uh, in Maine and it was, I think, just Walmart brand. Anyway, it did not go over well. I did not like it at all. I'm trying to get lots of water in today and I bought some extra, shh, I am in water. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I bought some extra because, oh, I need to put this in. I am going on a night hike tonight, so it will be after dark. My spoon is missing. Found a spoon. It's gonna work. I'm going on a night hike, so we're leaving, we're meeting at the trailhead at dark, essentially. I checked and I think Sunset is 5.40 something right now, and we're meeting at God, 6 or 6.30. I can't remember, I'll have to look. And we could probably meet a little earlier, basically. I think she's done at five, and I was just trying to get enough time to grab a little bite to eat. One to two teaspoons, teaspoons. We probably won't be gone long. The thing of it is, is this is a hike, am I gonna need more? That both of us have done separately and together multiple times multiple times so i don't think it's going to be a problem because of that i did bring a little extra food today just to make sure that like i have a little break and i'll be able to eat before my last client that way i can run home maybe just have a snack as i'm getting ready so that i'm not on like a full stomach and go so i have if I'm just hiking that regular trail, I don't necessarily take a bag with me, I don't take anything with me, but this time I'm taking a headlamp and the stuff that you would take, but I also have this Milwaukee flashlight and I'm not gonna turn it on to show you how bright it is because it could land an airplane. So I'm taking that with me. So what I did get from the store is Chew Diet Pepsi because I do okay until I see a friend with Diet Pepsi. And last night, one of my friends had Diet Pepsi and I was like, just an electrolyte, two grams of sugar. I'm sure you've seen them in the store. 20 calories, whatever, 10 carb. I get a lot of headaches every month, if you know what I mean. And I'm having a lot of headaches right now so I thought I would try oh my god get that diet Pepsi again I would try some of that electrolyte drink just to make sure that ouch I'm good to go for later you don't want to have because those headaches split like they split you right into you they split your head right open um I'm going to touch on my glitter bells order in a second I'm also gonna touch on what you can see behind me. So I brought in a rack. So there was a little white table there, had a couple plants on it. The table is still here, I just moved it. I'm selling some clothes. It's stuff that I couldn't really be bothered to sell on classifieds, but yet worth something. Some of it's brand new stuff. And so I'm just, I'm selling it there. And if that doesn't work out, I mean, it's all gonna get donated and I'm not selling it for a lot. And there is a whole bin of stuff to be donated, but. Anyhow, I thought, why not? I'm just gonna try that, see if it works. If it doesn't, great. If it does, great. I'll see you in a bit for the glitter bells order. Okay, before I get too sidetracked with the thousand other things that I should be doing, let's talk colors. I get new colors. Do we know where they are? No. Ow, I get my fingers stuck in the back. Okay, I have maybe looked at half of these. Last night, you're crooked. Last night, 
one of my clients wanted to use them. We opened up like five kind of all at once. She was opening, I was opening, and she prefers dark colors, so we were kind of only looking at those. Like I kind of seen them, but I kind of did not. I'm going to, as per usual, pop up the picture in one place or another of these colors because this camera just doesn't show them, doesn't do them justice. It's really not worth it. There's a discount code down below for uh, the Nail Throne, which is where I purchased all of these things. And there's some things in here you're gonna wanna get. Let's just start with the Unbelievable Gels. I love these so very much. If you've been here for a minute, you know that. And also, if you've been here for a minute, you know how dang hard it is to get the smells off of these. So I'm gonna get paper towel. I should have done this before. I usually do have this done before I try to show you guys. This one's called Modest. I'm just gonna see if I can just like crank these seals off of here without too much. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't call that too much problems, but yeah, I love this one. One color, like I know it's February Valentine's, whatever, but one color that I found late summer into fall, people never stopped asking for light pink. Light baby-ish pinks were and have remained really popular with my clients. And this is just exactly that. Now, one light pink that I have that I kept digging out my tweezers get like slippery and then I can't get a hold of this. So one color that I kept digging out, um, would it be, no, not beautify. One of them that I kept digging out, fairy cake? Yeah, fairy cake. So every time somebody said like light, baby, you know, light pink, I would dig this out because it kind of used to be, but through like age and oxidation, it got a little purple. As they do sometimes, right? Like there are colors every so often that once you've had them for a bit, they change. You know, not a lot, but they do a little. So this, again, modest, is kind of what I wanted fairy cake to be when I would open it, and it wasn't that is perfect. The next one, sugar candy. I thought I had sugar candy. I mean, I ordered it, and I do work off a list, like I shouldn't have ordered a second one, because I didn't repurchase anything of these to my knowledge. Like sometimes I'll repurchase what's super popular and I did not do that with these. Oh my God, that is freaking beautiful. Like in person, no, you can't tell. Oh, that is like, well, I'll pop it up here, but that is the perfect medium to dark pink. I love it. Fairy Light. Definitely don't have this one. So as you guys know, I have a pretty big collection. So when I'm ordering, I don't, I don't tend to order based on color. Because if I order based on the colors that I like, then I'm going to get all the same colors that I already have. So I tend to just go based on name. Like I just go down through the list. I have a list on my phone of the ones that I have worth making. I go that way. I just order the ones that I don't already have. So fairy light that I will blow through that this spring. Like that's going, that's not staying here. There's no way uh, it will be empty. Uh, rich and juicy. Hello. Hope you are. These are so messy. I should just be showing you. You might get a laugh out of it. And before you ask, no, there's no lip that you can just like take a hold of. <laughs> Such a mess. And I react fairly badly to gel polish. So mm, that again with so that one with fairy light, like yes. That's gonna be beautiful. Isn't it obvious? What's the name of this one here? Come watch me do this. You have to see. Okay, don't mind my hands. I've been picking again. It is a struggle. I know what needs to happen. I know that I need to um, put nails back on. I need length. I need acrylic. I do. If I don't have them, I pick because my nails are sharp and they have like a builder on them, which is perfect. I love it. Like I love this length and I love this whole thing, but I love it because I can pick with it. So we just need to get that off of there. And I do have a plan. I am going to put a set of acrylic on. I do want to keep them short and there's something in here that I want to put on them. So I'm going to show you that. This one isn't obvious. 
So let's get this off of here. Through trial and error, this is what I generally do. First of all, if this comes out of the top, I just leave it out. If it doesn't come out, I just leave it. But if it does come out, then I take it out because it will stick to the top afterwards and then there's more of a chance that it's going to land on your lap when you're opening it. I take these and I puncture a little spot here and then I just use it like a can opener until it starts to buckle like that. Sorry, until it starts to buckle like that. When it starts to buckle, I will clean these off like if needed and grab a hold of it. Yeah, right? See, this is where it goes sideways. And I will peel. Holy crap, that's a bright color. I love that so much. Hello, are you going on vacation? Wow, I can't believe how horribly it comes out in the camera. That is like, God, what is that color? That's bright, it's just bright. It's really bright. I don't know if any of you guys get migraines. I'm sure somebody does. Or even, let's just call them bad headaches. I tend to call them migraines just because they put me out. Like, they are like a take all the medication, um, grab all, you're gonna be sick, it's awful, light. You know, the whole no smells, no nothing. I get them. And oftentimes they're hormonal, but regardless of why they're here, I get them. Generally have like a concoction that I will take one one start and said concoction is and yes I know my liver and my kidneys they hate me but both Tylenol and Advil the strength is up to you and then a Advil cold and sinus I don't know what it is about that the hormonal I don't know what it is but it works but I was watching a TikTok the other day and I know that you should not get your medical information from me or TikTok but I was watching a TikTok and she was like caffeinate hydrate Advil and I was like yep Yep, yep, yeah, like Diet Pop, a lot of times not a lot of it, or a piece of chocolate, or a little bit of coffee, I usually don't have much access to coffee, like after I've already drank it in the morning, but anyway, what I'm trying to get at is that she had one of these, and it's electrolytes, this is Georgia Peach, naturally flavored, vitamin enhanced, blah blah blah, no, I usually don't fall for all that stuff, but it's electrolytes. And I got one of these this morning because I was feeling a little under the weather, I'm a little headachey. I ate too late last night. Was that my headache? Maybe. Was it hormonal? Maybe. Like, we don't know. It's also supposed to storm and I get weather headaches. So anytime that the barometric pressure changes, I know I'm sensitive. Anyway, I'm just trying to tell you that these are really good and it made me feel 10 times better. I didn't think I was going to be able to keep filming. Um, and now I feel like an 8 out of 10. <laughs> Make a move is this one. So let's get it open now that I've had it upside down long enough for it to make a mess. So same thing, peeling. Oh yeah, of course this one went better because I'm not filming it. It's like putting gloves on by yourself versus in front of your client. And then I just, you know, I try to peel off like as much as the foil if I, as I can get just to make them nice to look at, but like, let's be real. Like once you have a gel polish open and it's one that you use a lot, this one, oatmeal, I use it all the time. Like, you know, she's messy. Am I gonna clean that? No, you know, unless it sticks to my fingers and I drop it, it's probably gonna stay messy. That is one of my most used gels. This is beautiful. What did I say that was called? Make a move. Make a move, girl. I just hate uncured gel. There's just something about it. It's just from all the years. It's from all the years. It's from all the teaching. Okay, we're just gonna, I can't get to the garbage can. Let's move on to the next portion of the video, which is going to be the actual Glitter Bells gel polishes. Again, from the Nail Throne, again, down below. Prom Night, this is the one I ended up using on my client yesterday afternoon. It is gorgeous. I'm weird with purples. I love purple, but I'm weird with them. That medium purple, and I think there's one in here, and we're gonna look at it, and I'm not telling you you shouldn't get it on your nails if you're a client. I'm not telling you you shouldn't get it if you're a nail tech, but that medium purple is not for me. I like pastel or light. I like deep or dark, like gemstone. Rock chick. I was excited to get this one. Like, who doesn't love that? It's gorgeous. I need to make swatches for all these. I also got edgy chick or edgy chic? Edgy chick. Don't we love a burgundy? So last year, burgundy couldn't keep it on the shelf. Uh, like burgundy couldn't keep it on the shelf. Like I brought them all down. They all sat right here on my desk and you guys, my clients just like piled through them. You practically took them home with you. This year, the only burgundies I'm using are on the people that always get burgundy. 
But if you're a people that always get burgundy, this is the one. This might be a good one for me to wear too. See, I make a plan what I'm going to put on my own nails and then it all flies to hell. Sandy Beach. Okay, this is... Um, I have one client in particular that's going to want to see this. She's coming tomorrow morning. She is going to love it. She typically gets, mm, she used to get the Lacket Barely There, and then we switched her to Santorini Sand. Very close. And then this Sandy Beach, also close. Mocha Rouge, love it love it that is a repurchase my mocha rouge was getting mm, muted purple this is the medium purple i mean i love it it's pretty and of course i'm gonna use it but it's just it's not for me top coat top coat this is a gel polish oh fire engine sorry this is also a repurchase here i was saying i didn't have any repurchases fire engine is a beautiful red i pretty i blow through that one I, I don't repurchase a lot of them but something like that's pretty classic glamour puss yep like that's just kind of a classic spring color right like for your girls that like a bright light spring then here's the one that i thought i would wear i'm probably going to use a lot of this now i like an iridescent not sparkly but maybe just shimmery pink that is um not opaque right and i got the cnd shellac i don't use that brand at all never have but i got bow loved bow love it this teeniest tiniest bottle you ever did see way too much money for what it is i don't know why i love cnd acrylic i don't know why i dislike shellac so much i think it's just i don't know i got the brush on builder gel because i want to be able to wear this on mine and just top coat it we will see but i got pink shimmer brush on builder gel so it's called pink shimmer it's so freaking beautiful so i cannot wait to use that i do need to do mine the builder gel that i have on here right now like if the way i use it and what i do to it oh sorry is anything to its quality then this is a good product because i pick i clean i do dishes i'm like in and out of water i take baths and i put my hands in i do all the things that you're not supposed to do like i take no care in my nails i also live in gloves and acetone and alcohol and nail dust and all that stuff when i'm not here i'm outdoors i'm hiking just trying to tell you how active and other than growth these are fine and I even shortened a few of them so it broke that seal, right? They're fine. There is nothing wrong with these nails. They're not chipped. Like, they're, uh, there's a chip right here. I picked that last night. Like, because it's grown out, it's starting to lift from the back a little bit. The gel polish. But my God, you guys, like, this is a good product. So if you're looking for a builder gel for one of your clients, I don't use it on many people. I use it on, like, two. I'm actually going to be using it on a girl this weekend, but... I don't use it on many people, but I do use it on myself and I do love it. It comes back looking fantastic. Plus the pink shimmer, even though it does have shimmer in it, is going to be a beautiful base for nail art or French or what have you. That is all I've got. To, that's only been 18 minutes long. Oh my God, shut up. I decided if I have to do this, so do you. I just need to label these. I made a YouTube short with them. I love making YouTube shorts. Sugar candy. They do need to go back in the light. I just did two for the short, which we just called obvious because I don't want to write that all out. Um, I do need to make the tabs that go on them as well. I do love the little tab, but I can say that they fade. When I go looking for gel polishes now, Sometimes I struggle. That being said, it's still better than not having a tap or like anything there at all. So it's fine. They do fade. I do want you to know that. I am going to start at the end of some of those. I had started putting the tab. No, I'm sorry. started putting the gel polish underneath the tab, like on the underside. I don't know if that helps or not. Maybe it hinders it. I am going to make the tabs for these two and just have that done. It just makes it easier to find them and anything that's going to make your life easier, especially if you have a large collection, like that's what you want, right? I can't believe that you came into my life. 
going to finally get this hair done. It seems like it's been forever. So I've got coffee, I have food, I have all the things here with me. So I think it's going to be a quick day and get it, uh, get it done and then get back in here and get torn apart to get set up for a little bit of lip tattooing on Sunday. I might vlog a little bit of that. I'm still not super comfortable vlogging that simply because it is such a new procedure and I'm more intent on what I'm doing, but there will be a time when I do vlog tattoo days. And there will also be a time when I do set up for a tattoo day and do a few days in a row. So that will also make that easier. I'm signing off. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching my swatches. I know sometimes you guys really love to see what's new and so do I. So thanks for being here. I'll see you next time.